Well, we are about six months away from the start of the next hurricane season, but two Cameron County cities already getting ready for that right now. Their latest project with AEP will help keep lights on when there's severe weather. First one five meteorologist Cecilia Gutierrez takes a look. A little over three months ago, power poles like the one behind me were laying on Padre Boulevard. They were knocked down by strong winds. Now AEP is making sure that doesn't happen again. It wasn't that long ago when more than half of South Padre Island was in the dark. At 2.30 in the morning, my son awoken and he was looking out on our front porch up above and he saw a telephone pole in the middle of the street. Close to 80 mile per hour winds left more than two dozen power poles broken, snapped like toothpicks. So we went out and we saw that there was more than one. For hours, the domes were left in the dark. AEP is now working to make sure the island is more prepared for severe weather. The poles that were brought down recently at South Padre Island due to high winds are still fresh on all of our minds. These new steel structures will be built to withstand 140 mile per hour winds. The $51 million project has already kicked off in Laguna Vista and will replace 12 miles of transmission line between Laguna Vista and South Padre Island. The new system will not only provide better resilience against Gulf Coast weather, it will also increase reliability in the area overall. Daniel Lucio with AEP says they're also working with the cities to make sure traffic flow and eruptions are kept to a minimum. And Lucio says the project should be done by the end of December 2021. At South Padre Island, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News at 6.